Hello there, you sexy beast. Vadi Wa here, and welcome to the most exciting battle that is about to unfold. Unfold like a pair of soiled underwear. Staryu and Houndoom is about to engage in a Pokemon battle, so who is gonna win? Will Staryu defeat Houndoom so all the Houndooms is gonna leave Dogmeat alone? Now, right here, looks like Staryu is trying to flank Houndoom, but wait a second, wait a second, it seems like they're engaged in a melee battle. Now, this kind of puts Staryu at a disadvantage since Staryu is not fighting in the water, so this is kind of puts Staryu at a bad position, and uh Oh, it looks like Staryu is defeated. Oh my goodness. Well, it looks like Rebby channeling Misty did not really help at all. And maybe Rebby should just abandon Staryu and just go back to normal. And for that, we are going to need a normal looking outfit. The Cross Tactical Swimsuit by Nero is a bikini that is highly customizable and beautiful. The Tactical Swimsuit can be crafted at the chemistry station or at the Cross Cybernetic Station. Now this is the basic version of the swimsuit and according to the mod author, the concept is from Metal Gear Solid 5 and more specifically, the character Quiet. Now there are three different parts for the swimsuit and first of all there are 30 different colors and I'm kind of quick quickly going through all of them and you can change the color for each of the three parts, the gloves, the base and the footwear. However, it would take me forever to equip the matching colors for every single part of the swimsuit, so you guys are only get getting a glimpse of the base and what I mean by the base is the bikini bottom and bikini top. Now this is what it looks like when all three parts are, are using the same color. They look very flashy and stylish. It looks looks very awesome. It looks very cool. Now all three parts of the swimsuit can be customized by removing or adding parts to it. Now this is something that I really like about all of Nero's mods. Every mod that the mod author makes is highly customizable either with a huge color palette or moddable weapons and armor. One more thing, there are some decals that could be added to the base. There are quite a few, however, I think my, my favorites would be the American flag or maybe the tiger stripes. Again, most bikinis and swimsuits that we've looked at usually does not have this level of customization. One of my fellow mod reviewer Porterhouse uh, said that it kind of looks like a James Bond girl bikini, which I do agree with him. It looks like a bikini that a old school James Bond girl would where? How are we doing, Yuri? I think we are too good. Can you hear? My heart may burst. I think Rebby and her followers are going to have to kill every single one of those Houndooms to keep them away from dog meat. We are going to need a weapon for that. We have the Fusion Gun by Fallout Suite, and it's a weapon that will make all the other weapons in Fallout 4 look outdated, all the other energy weapons. Now, the Fusion Gun can be found by killing a Synth Corsair at one of two locations. The Fusion Gun has a similar look and setup as a laser pistol, except it's kind of a metallic white in color. There are plenty of cables and high-tech looking parts. Now, the Fusion Gun also uses its own ammo called Fusion Cartridge. Right here, Rebby is going to be firing the fusion gun. Take note of the animations and sound effects. The fusion gun can be modded and there's a receiver that can be changed. There's a barrel that we, that we can also change and make it become into a shotgun. And it also changes the appearance a little bit. Now we can also add a, a, a rifle stock and a few other, other mods to create like an automatic type of a weapon, an automatic shotgun. Now again, listen to the sounds and animations of the shotgun. With a custom scope, it kind of looks like a futuristic badass weapon, something that, you know, it's light years ahead, a lot more advanced than anything that the Institute can create. With a new weapon, we should also get a power armor as well. TES-51 Power Armor Skyrim Inspired by Edible Grenade 12 is absolutely a top 10 power armor that you should get, especially if you're a Skyrim fanboy or fangirl. Now the power armor can be found at Bethesda Comic Store and yes, it has its own location. Now of course inside it's a comic store and right on the wall there are these posters showing the three Skyrim comics that, that, that you can find. Now these comic books allow you to gain access to some paint jobs for the power armor that you're... That you're you're going to be finding. Yes. 
downstairs, you can find a power armor and it, it, and it feels so fantastic to get into it just because you're getting into something that's made, well, inspired by Skyrim. Now afterwards, there are two weapons that you can find and use right here on the display case. There's a steel warhammer and there's also a steel sword right next to it. The mod author captured the spirit of Skyrim perfectly, you know, it has the iconic Dovahkin helmet, it has a armor plating that has plenty of engravings on it, and there's even a, li a little bit of fur on some parts of the armor, like on some of the armor plating. And the engravings and design kind of reminds me of the steel armor in Skyrim, which is perfect, it, it captures it perfectly, guys, perfect. Now it gets even better, you can add a Yao Guai bear skin on your helmet, one, one of the eyes lights up when you turn on your power armor light, which is incredible guys, oh my goodness. There are also two Brahmin skulls that goes on the shoulder and on the arms, and again guys, this, this is such a pretty sight to look at. Now right here, we have the different paint jobs for the power armor, and they all look very fantastic with the different scratches, the smudges on each one of them, and they all look very different but at the same time they look very good and fantastic. There's nothing but praises for this armor. Maybe it's because, you know, I I, I, may, I might be biased, and you know, I might be biased because this is a Skyrim power armor. You know, Skyrim Fallout together, oh my goodness, what, what could be better? Now this is the perfect armor to walk around for a while until Skyrim Remaster comes out. However, there can be only be one Dragonborn, so only Ruby can wear it. Everyone else needs to wear something different. The T-51C Air Force Power Armor by Newer Mine 43 and Captain Ultima is a very large N-60 power armor to get into. Now, the power armor can be found at the National Guard Training Yard, and it can be found in this building right here. Now, make sure that you pick up the helmet that is in the same room when you get into power armor, just because it's on the floor, not attached to your power armor. And the T-51C is dark green in color, and it's very bulky. Kind of like a tank, it looks like a tank. Now it kind of reminds me of an anime called Big O, mainly with the large torso that's kind of ribbed, you know, ribbed for her pleasure. And for a Air Force power armor, I think it should it should have been like a light blue color instead, because when you think of like a green color, like a dark green, you kind of think of like like an army or something. Everyone here has a power armor except for Darlene right here. Now, the reason is because, well, she's not a vanilla follower, so she might have problems getting out of a power armor once you get in. Now, Darlene, here's another outfit to make it up to you. ZGC Page Outfit CBBE by Zaytanic GC is a skimpy outfit that looks very dangerous. Now, it can be crafted at the Armorsmith Workbench, and the outfit is actually based on Diva Page, who is a wrestler in WWE, and that's kind of why I say it's dangerous. Now the page outfit is magenta in color and I don't know about you guys but I think she can probably kick my butt very hard. The only wrestling that I've done was like maybe wrestling with my trouser snake every day. Although I would not mind her wrestling my snake every day instead. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Now too bad there are no like kill cams like in Skyrim. Y you know like when you go up to like a person without like uh, eating weapons and you sneak up behind them and you kind of like do like a kill cam move and there's one that kind of looks like you're doing like a backwards like body slam or something and looks very cool. I think it would fit this very well. It looks like a wrestling move. Anyways, I think this is it, you know, Ruby and her followers are gonna try to take care of all, all of these hound dunes right here once and for all so we, have, we don't have to worry about them trying to get into Dogbeat's Red Rocket. I would also like to thank, uh, take this time to thank a few more of my Patreon donators. We have Daniel Batty, so which Skyrim race do you like the most? You know, that's the question. Gator for show, you keeping it sexy, my homie? You, you gotta keep it sexy, my man. Kenneth Hadley, oh my god, they killed Kenny, those bastards. Oh my goodness, Batty, how many times are, are you gonna use that joke for Kenneth right here? 
wouldn't stay sexy my friends stay sexy and by the way the next episode is gonna feature the best quest mod ever you know be better than anything Bethesda can create you know this, this mod is very long very uh, immersive there's lots of content in it and let's just say that there's a lot of bikini girls more bikini girls than I've ever seen before but yeah everyone stay sexy my friends stay sexy hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode also explode Adult Misty Outfit CBBE by GT9797 is the ultimate outfit to wear if you want a Q-Bone, if you guys know what I mean. Oh my goodness, there, there is going to be so many jokes in this episode, guys. So many bad full HDT made outfit with cleavage by Logic Fox X is a made outfit that is very, very lively. It's like, woo. On the surface, it's a very ordinary outfit. It's a very ordinary made outfit with a short skirt and apron.